We are delighted to have with us a strong visionary, Shri Ganpat Bhai Patel, honorable patron in chief who believes in adding wings to his one's dreams. Born and brought up in a small family, Shri Ganpat Bhai Patel has seen different shades of life and due to his qualities of hard work and diligence, he has excelled in all his ventures. He started his career as a design engineer in USA. Sir had nurtured a dream to become an entrepreneur and turned it into reality as Cherokee International, a world-class company. I would like to invite Sri Ganpat Bhai Patel to address the gathering. Please, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Let the world know it is today is our day. That's better. So it's a great pleasure. I want to invite everyone and welcome everyone on this beautiful campus for the 11th convocation. Thanks to Moti Dada who has left heaven on the earth. It's a beautiful campus. I hope you have enjoyed your last four years. Dr. Malini Shankar, Director General of Shipping and a Special Secretary to the Government of India. I want to welcome you and I want to especially thank you for accepting our invitation. Dear ma'am, our graduating class will remember you for the rest of their life. Thank you for making yourself available for our youngster. <laughs> My dear friend Anil Bhai, you have done a marvelous job again and again. All one has to do is look around the campus. It is alive and humming. You have made a tremendous progress. Thank you, Anil Bhai. Our special guest, Sri Govind Bhai, thank you for joining us today. I want to thank special woman, Sharda Ben. Thank you for your love, your unconditional love and support to this campus. I would not, I and Manju wouldn't spend a couple of months without her. She makes us feel at home. I'm sure Sakat Dada is watching you from up above. Thank you, Sakat Dada. <laughs> Our Director General, Dr. Sharma, you are not the youngest Vice Chancellor, but you are the most forward-looking and well-connected with the outside world. Without you, Victoria Program, Marine Engineering, Suzuki Japan, and many, many other MOUs in the works are not possible. Thank you, Dr. Sharma. <laughs> Members of Board of Governors, Academic Council, invited guests, faculty, staff member, my dear student, and their parents. Thank you, parent, for being here to support your child. My dear NRI friends, thank you for being here today. Class of 2017, can you please rise one last time for me? This is your, this is your last punishment from me at this university. So let us take a moment. Let us take a moment, think how we got here. Let's thank everyone who has contributed for you being here. This is the perfect day to do it. Our parents, our professors, the generous donors, and anyone else you can think of. 
from bottom of your heart appreciate what has happened to your life. I want to ask a personal question. Thank you. I want to ask a personal question. How many of you have been engaged or married on this campus during the last four years? Can you raise? <laughs> this is a lovely campus to do it. We have a lot of trees to hide. And we're, gonna, and we're gonna put some more. You know, wherever I go, wherever I travel, our students come and ask me for blessing. And usually there are two of them. And I said, one of you should be asking for blessing, but the, what the, why the other one? And they said, we both went to Ganpat University and we got married there. <laughs> so, so I'm asking Dr. Sharma, to start a marriage bureau also. <laughs> I take a great joy in knowing that you have killed two birds with one stone. <laughs> you may take a seat. So I am a businessman. I love profit. Today you are my profit. Uh, for the benefit of our beloved uh, chief guest, I want to talk about a brief, short, but amazing history of our campus. About 15 years ago, my friend Anil Bai made me walk in the dirt and in the frontier on this campus, and a lot of frontier got into my pen. If you don't have experience, you don't want one. Believe me. Right then and then, I decided that we're going to get rid of the frontiers, and we're going to produce some graduates from this soil. Today, we have a lot more graduates than we have frontiers. Thank you, Anil Bhai. Have you noticed this is the first time we haven't had a tent, cover tent? There's two reasons. One is not to save the money. We couldn't find a big enough tent. We are growing. And a second, we wanted to show you that sky is not the limit. You are earning your degree from a very reputable university. Now it is time for you to dream and dream big. But I am talking about not the dream that you get in the sleep. I'm talking about the dream that do not let you sleep. So dream and capitalize upon it. I have lived my life full of challenges and full of successes. I want to share some of my personal experiences today. The most frequently asked question to me is, of course, what is the, what is the secret of my success? I know you are anxiously waiting to hear that. So here you go. To begin with, I was never comfortable, comfortable with a life as usual. I am a out-of-box thinker. I have never been afraid of challenges. 
and I have always lived fearful life. Failures don't scare me. And I have never accepted artificial limitations. I am not afraid of making commitments, but when I make a commitment, I fulfill with the hard work. And I don't believe in giving up. It's not in me. And unless you have given up, you have not failed. These are my DNA, and these are my values, and that has helped me to get here. This is my two ounce for you. Then one would say, yeah, Dada, but when you were graduating, there were a lot of opportunity. Today, life is different. I argue with that. The world was changing 2,000 years ago, world is changing now, and world will be changing 2,000 years from now. And the changes are escalating. And as long as changes are escalating, the opportunities will be escalating also. So today there are more opportunity, opportunity than ever. Just keep your eyes and ears open. And do not underestimate yourself. You are a masterpiece. God has created you one of a kind. There is no one like you in the entire universe. So act like a masterpiece. I'm sure... You know, there are many, many success stories happening every single day. So all you have to do is ask, why not you? And then get in, get in the action. I want to share some of my life story just to show you how I took chances in my life. At the age of 20, after completing my high school, without knowing much English, without having too much financial backing, being married, having pregnant wife, I decided to leave for America for higher education. And it was all against my family my family's will. The day I left, it was dos Doshini Noom. Doshini Noom. That day is considered not so auspicious to leave for a good, good work. My family wanted to not do it on that day. I was already late a couple of days for my university. I said, I have no time for Murat. There was a war going on between India and Pakistan. I left in a train from Masana to Bombay, and the train was completely blacked out because of the war. I arrived in Bombay. Bombay was in chaos. Even airport was dark. Only time airport was turning the lights on is when aeroplane took, took off. There were plenty of reasons for me to back away from my decision. If weak stomach would have given up, not me. I ended up in New York on September 21st, 1965. Yet, I want to give you another example. After completing, completing my school, getting bachelor degree, Worked for a couple of corporations. At young age of 32, I already have two daughters, one on the way. I was the only breadwinner in the family. I had no fat bank balance. Life was reasonably good and comfortable. 
we enjoyed our lifestyle. But some, something was burning in my stomach. That was a fire. One day I decided to quit the job and start a business in my garage. My friends were telling me I was crazy. My wife told me I was not. She inspired me. So I only listened to my inner soul and my wife, and I went ahead. A few years later, I had a very successful business, and all the naysayers became my fans. So now you know I'm not very happy with the comparable zone. If you are having too much comfort in your life, that all some cages become uncomfortable. That is the only way to get somewhere. There is no glory without guts. Don't be afraid of making gutsy moves. After having a success, successful business, people started calling me Mr. Patel from Ganpat. I, I had so much confidence, I could do no wrong. And people thought I had a magic touch. It wasn't that. It was all those values that we carry. The hard work, sincerity. And I wasn't any special. I am just like one of you. You just have to believe in yourself. So now that we had a little bit of money, we were successful, family wanted to do something for the motherland. We came here, we found Anil Bhai, we put our faith in him, and today we have a wonderful campus as a result. That was also a risk, because many people told us that Starting university in Kherwa was not a right thing to do. It was like throwing away the money. Myself and Anil Bhai, we are a couple of Sikh Challi. We were not prepared to buy all those arguments. We just went ahead. If you have read the biography of several successful people like Steve Jobs, you will hear the similar stories. So my advice to you, class of 2017 is, live fearlessly, make commitment, have passion, follow up rigorously, love what you do and do what you love. Making money should not be your goal, it should be a byproduct. If you are enjoying what you do, you will make money. Hard work has never killed anybody. So go ahead and fulfill your dream. One thing about taking chances in life is you never fail. You either succeed or you learn. Before you leave this campus, I'm sure you are taking a lot of good memories with you. Always remember that you have spent most precious four years of your life here. I want you to examine our university's logo. Is it on the picture over there? Have you studied this logo? Do you know what it means? You see the ball in the middle, that's you. And then you see six lines. Those lines represent knowledge, integrity, hard work, sincerity, leadership, and teamwork. These are the value that you are taking with you. This is your pehchan. This is your identity. 
and this should be your character. You travel with that, you cannot lose. Between that logo, our university anthem, and today's all oath, you have a plenty of ammunition. Keep those values intact with you all the time. One more thing, don't ever forget your roots. Please keep coming back to your university, your parents, your home. Before closing, let me all wish you a success in your future and whatever you do. But I have a special wish for you today. And in Gujarati, as we say, safarta. Safarta is what I want to wish you, but not an ordinary safarta that I am talking about. I'm not talking about safarta that you have a nice car, a nice bungalow, and I have a fat bank balance. I am talking about sarthakta. There is a lack of English word, so I am going to keep using Gujarati word sarthakta. I am sure you know the difference between safarta and sarthakta. Sarthakta is safarta plus you have done something for somebody else. You have lived life with compassion. For example, Madonna was a successful, but Mother Teresa was a, had a Sarthak life. Here I am quoting Dr. Gunman Shah. And this is my wish for you because human life has a special meaning. So I want to thank you today for listening to me. God bless you all of you. And good luck to all of you. Thank you again. Thank you so much, sir, for those inspirational words. Since in